Hi, my name is Dr. Ralph Sin, and I'm going to be talking to you about CMT Psychotherapy. CMT Psychotherapy 101 will be presented as a three-part discussion, looking at, in part one, the underlying structure in which to understand the role of psychotherapy, in part two, the basic goals and approaches of psychotherapy, and part three, the process of CMT Psychotherapy. Psychotherapy is a process that explores the interaction of thoughts, emotions, and actions in the context of relationship, which includes a relationship with the self and relationships with others. It is helpful to put some kind of structure to these components, because structure gives us an understanding of what we are working with. I find that the biopsychosocial model applied to what it means to be human is a good model that fits the bill. This is a fancy word that can stand for body, soul, and spirit, or body, mind, and spirit. It is also important to have some kind of a definition to what body and mind or soul and spirit represent. In forming an understanding of these three components of humanity, I find it helpful to contrast humans with computers. A computer has a body that is composed of the various components of the hardware including the electronics of the circuit boards and the software that tells the electronics what to do. For a human, our body is composed of the various cells that we have, the chemicals that work in the cells, and the DNA that tells the chemicals what to do. This is the science portion of our humanity. We have learned a lot about how all those chemicals work, but there is also much more to learn. It is very clear that body represents the bio component of biopsychosocial. The soul of a computer is the environment that gets created, and that, that's what we call cyberspace. It is called cyberspace because it's not the same as physical space, and yet it's a real environment. Entering cyberspace is the stuff of science fiction, and there have been stories and movies that have explored this possibility. For humans, the environment that gets created is what we may call inner space, consciousness, or mind. It is the realm of our private and subjective experience, including what we see, hear, our emotions, and our thoughts. This domain is not physical in the sense that you cannot grab an emotion or a thought and see how long it measures or how heavy it weighs, and yet it's still a, it's still a real environment one that we could call mind or soul. Therefore, mind or soul represents the psycho component of biopsychosocial. I view the spirit component as a relational dimension. The way computers presently are is that they are not relational. Sometimes we may think they are when, we don't want, when they don't do what we want them to do. But for the most part, computers are machines that do what we program them to do. Once again, computers being relational is the stuff of science fiction, and there are stories of computers that band together and take over the world and oppress the humans. Whether or not something like that ever happens, we're just going to have to let the story unfold as it should. But for now, computers are not relational. However, humans are relational. It means that everything we understand about ourselves is in the context of relationship. This can be a relationship with the self, relationship with others, relationship with objects like computers or cars, or a relationship with a higher power, regardless of whether we have an identified name of a higher power, a nebulous understanding of a higher power, or if we don't believe there, that there's a higher power in, in relation to be in relationship with. Often, spirit is synonymous with a relationship with a higher power, but for our purposes, we will refer to it as any relationship. This component is the social dimension of biopsychosocial. Psychotherapy concerns itself primarily with the psychosocial or mind-soul-spirit components in terms of how they interact. When a person is prescribed a medication, such as an antidepressant, it is a body approach to treatment. The antidepressant has an effect and how the chemicals work in the cells, which in turn has an effect on the soul environment, 
and so this is how antidepressants derive their benefit. Psychotherapy, however, concerns itself with how the soul or mind and spirit components interact. In part two, we will look at the basic goals and approaches of psychotherapy. Thank you.